Do you have any old CDs or DVDs that you're probably never going to use again and really just want to throw out? Well, I do. And in general, most municipalities won't take these in the recycling bin, so you really just be contributing to landfill. Or alternatively, you could use them to make all kinds of art. So today I'm going to show you how you can turn your old CDs and DVDs into colorful art pieces like these. So for what I'm going to create today, all you need are a few really simple materials that you probably just have around your home. Old CDs, as we mentioned before, some paint, preferably acrylic paint or anything that has a quick dry time, a palette to put your paint on, a paintbrush, something to hold water and water. As you can see, I'm using my old DVD holder. Tape. Now it's probably better for you to use masking tape or painter's tape, but I don't have any right now, so I'm just going to use scotch tape and something to put underneath your artwork when you're painting. Whether it's newsprint, craft paper, I'm just going to use a garbage paper bag. Okay, so let's start with the tape. I know it's kind of hard to see, but basically it doesn't matter which direction you put the tape. You can just tape in any random direction. The key is to make it look spontaneous. You don't need too many pieces, I would say 4 or 5 max. The next step is to get out the paint. Take your paintbrush and spread the paint evenly across the entire CD. You may have to apply multiple coats, especially if you're using a lighter color, to ensure full coverage. Let the paint fully dry. For acrylic paint, half an hour is probably sufficient. Then gently and slowly pull the tape off. You may choose to repeat step 1 to 3 with different colored paint. Here are what I ended up with. You can also put them in a frame like this so you can put it up on a wall. As you can see, it's kind of cool when the light hits it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you decide to follow the instructions, please send me a picture of what you end up making. And if you enjoy this tutorial, please feel free to subscribe. And um, hopefully I'll have some more tutorial videos in the future.